Making a deal is an art form. This is our breaking news tonight here on CNN. This country reaching a tragic milestone tonight. Because number one, it's really something to a large extent, and I express this in the book, that you're born with. The U.S. just surpassing a stunning and tragic death toll, 100,000 lives. We were woefully ill-prepared for this, woefully ill-equipped, and that, of course, started with Donald Trump. You have it or you don't have it or whatever. But And if you don't have it, I say it very clearly, don't make deals. It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. Yes. And from our shores, we, you know, it could get worse before it gets better. It could maybe go away. We'll see what happens. You have 15 people. And the 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero. That's a pretty good job we've done. And then ultimately a vaccine. You're going to have it very quickly. The availability of a vaccine, even to scale it up, you're talking about a year to a year and a half. It's going to leave. It's going to be gone. It's going to be eradicated. We still need to do the kinds of studies that definitively prove whether any intervention is truly safe and effective. Anybody that wants a test can get a test. Just so you understand, now it's all performing perfectly. We are not in a situation where we say we're exactly where we want to be with regard to testing. Do we have enough tests? No. Do we have enough PPE? No, no, no. A lot no. of it's fake news. A lot of it's fake news. It's like we're, we're going into a war with no protection. And it is criminal. This is absolutely criminal. We don't have the proper equipment to take care of these patients. So what? We're expendable. That's how we feel. We've had a big problem with uh, the young, a woman governor from, you know who I'm talking about. The story in Michigan is the same as Massachusetts, the same as New York, the same as Illinois and Minnesota. We're bidding against one another, and in some cases, the federal government is taking priority. Uh, every governor in America has been pushing uh, and fighting and clawing to get more tests. There, there are occasions when a, when an underestimated leader rises to the occasion um, uh, during a crisis. This is not one of them. The president's reliance on his gut led to significant delays in combating the crisis. The problem, Allison, was he didn't use the time. He didn't order the ventilators, prepare for the beds, the protective equipment. So we did the right thing. Everything we did was right. 